number one, but can it? Uh, like as I said, I, most of our customers are in the United States and Western Europe, so I don't have a deep perspective on what Chinese companies are doing. I do see a lot of innovation happening in major American corporations. As I said, we serve over the half the Fortune 100, and they're, they're doing some pretty neat things. But to your point, China can't be the world leader if other countries and companies don't trust those, those innovations and don't trust those corporations. If they're worried about China stealing your intellectual property, that gets in the way of doing and building business partnerships around the globe, to your point. Yep. And, and it's not like China's cornered the market on intelligence, it, like yeah. uh, human brain power. But you brought up an interesting statistic. You said 1.7 trillion companies mm -hmm. are spending in digital transformation. But mm -hmm. when you see big companies like GE who hasn't mm -hmm. done the digital transformation well, is there an example of a big company who's invested and, and actually came out better, more progressive because of it? Yeah, we work with a major financial institution that um, they wanted to get products out the door more quickly. But as you know, there's a lot of regulation about financial services products. And so it was taking them 63 days to just get review of products product information done and through their transformation efforts they're now able to get those products to market much more uh, much more quickly so that's the kind of transformation efforts that we're seeing large companies do we, 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 you talk about transformation we once had buggy whip drivers that don't mm -hmm. exist in our economy anymore mm -hmm. tell us five occupations that exist now that aren't going to exist in 20 years and five occupations that we haven't heard of that will that will exist well you know it's interesting um, so I'll save that for another clip. But um, once again, I want to focus on the China one. I know that he's downplaying China and another piece of information I would like to be, uh, bring up because I've done a lot of research on China. And once again, Fox News is not covering this, is that they have a lot more data. The way AI works is it needs data. And the more data you have, the smarter and better your AI is. And the thing in China, what they do where you can't do on the U.S. is they allow collection of data very, very easily for large corporations and whoever wants to get into the AI space. In the U.S. and in the, in the Europe, uh, there's a lot more regulations to accumulate that data, and they just don't have the population. Remember, in China, you got 1.3 billion with a B, uh, which is you know four or five times the size of the U.S. So that's just going to allow them to accumulate a lot more data, which in theory should make their AI superior. And what they did mention is the unwillingness of Western states to want to collaborate with China, which is a great point and another reason why possibly if the U.S. and the West decide to collaborate together and to share their data and to pull their data together and not work with the Chinese due to the intellectual property theft, then I see uh, the possibility of China remaining behind the Western world. But I don't see that happening. I do see that China does have the economy and the ability because they're uh, a government-owned state to continue. And uh, on other news, I mean, they're also investing in space programs. So they're going to have a, a Chinese space station. So to, to dismiss China and to, you know, he's using his experience because it does make sense for him. He's only working with U.S. companies and European companies, so it doesn't seem like China will take over or uh, become number one in AI. But I would say to the contrary, due to their population size and what I mentioned earlier in this video. But let me know your thoughts, what you think. And I will be playing the other video, five jobs that will be outsourced and five jobs that will survive, because um, that's another interesting topic I would like to make a separate video on. But let me know your thoughts on this, and I will talk to you soon.